Alrighty, boys and girls. Catfish. About to get real fishy up in this bit. I don't know how you wouldn't hear about this show. They made about like a trillion of them. And this isn't even the first time I've made a video on the show, if I'm correct. But just in case you have no clue what the hell is going on, let me break it down for you. Essentially, people that decide they want to e-date, and it's usually grown-ass men and women that decide they want to date online. They, um, they hit up people when they feel like things are getting a little bit weird, a little bit suspicious, you know, they're they're not meeting like they thought they would, they're not FaceTiming like they thought they would, okay, the e-sex isn't hitting like they thought it would, and so they start asking a few questions with uh, these two guys' help. Hey. I gotta mic you up. This is how the sausage is made, yeah. you know? Test, test, test. Is this working? Testing. Test. I just let you in the door. At what point do we classify this as sexual assault? You walk in, you don't even shake my goddamn hand, and suddenly you're eye level with my cock. Um, well, what are we doing? You fell in love with the super hot girl, Rosa, and you're still in love with her despite all the red flags and weird things. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to meet her for quite some time now. We really connected. We would talk every day. I fell in love with her, like, bam, for our first sight. Bam, for our first sight. So, like, I clearly spoiled it. It's obviously not a Rosa. I mean, unless you know a guy named Rosa. I, I'm not the one to judge. Yeah, I am. That is not who you thought it was. You know, hence the name Catfish. All right, really quick, can we just take a moment? Anybody that's catfish, type in the comments, do whatever you need to do. I need a valid reason as to why the fuck you would feel so insecure about yourself that you would try pursuing a relationship with a completely different face. Nothing you see on the persona that you decide to use is ever gonna just magically show up on your body, at least not realistically. I'm sure you could probably work your way up to that point. I mean, <laughs> This guy, it's a little bit more far-fetched. Hey, you make your way over to this, right? You, you got me. <laughs> okay, hit me up. have a family. We planned on let's have a baby. We were making plans like that, you know, and it all seemed perfect. You know, she made the effort of moving down from Connecticut. She sell you? that she was moving down here for you? Yeah, she actually moved down for me. So she wanted to meet me, but she stood me up a couple of times. Jesus Christ. One of the messages that I received was that she had gotten arrested down here. Dog, after like the ninth excuse, I feel like you would get at least some sort of clue. I'm still surprised that you believe that she is in Miami right now. I mean, this person over the internet that he's known for how long told him that they were gonna start a family and get married together. He's never even seen their face before on a call or anything. Like, it's still this man's identity by tomorrow. Tell him to do three spins ass naked and he would get all of his shit back and he would do it. I wouldn't even have to be in the room. I could do it all over a Discord call. Can we see the three pages? Yeah. This is the oh, first wow. page. 1,700 friends. In 2014, you messaged this account with a silly puppy love yeah. emoji. Holy shit, this is how you know it's the real account because she didn't reply at all. 100 <laughs> friends. That's weird. Seems like too few. You sent her the same emoji. Oh, this one, she only has 15 friends. Come on. Come on. You really like these little dog emojis, huh? That's Why are you smiling? Stop smiling. There's absolutely nothing to be smiling about right now. I don't care if they're all fake accounts or not. This counts as a triple text, and <laughs> you got aired twice, bro. Consider that a loss and move on. He hasn't specified exactly how long they've been texting, but he said quite some time, and this guy is clearly just horny, so I'd definitely say under a year. It didn't take you a year to be convinced that you were about to get married to this person, have children with them. Right? You guys haven't even gone on a dinner date yet. You haven't even held hands. Say this girl was real, bro. What if you encountered her finally ready to marry her? You have the ring already and she smells like dog shit, bro. You have to smell that in bed for the rest of your life. You'd be sticking your dick in dog shit, which is way worse than crazy, might I add? I mean, look, for me, there is a small chance it could be the girl in the picture, so I'm willing to hang in just for that. And if not, at least we'll figure out who that person is. Flip a coin, roll a die, I don't care. Take a wild guess on if it's the person or not. You already know because I spoiled it earlier. God damn. See you tomorrow. Manana. Alright, take care. Alright, after that absolutely corny and awkward last interaction, they figure out if it's actually her who the real person is, the number, all the whole shebang, you know what I mean? And then they come back to his house so they can call. Hello. Hello, is this Rosa? Yeah, I'm good. My name is Neve from the TV show Catfish. 
and we were called by your friend Danny to help him yeah all right so just off of that little bit alone are you convinced this is the person that we've seen in the pictures and be real, all right? Oh, don't worry, I'll keep it going. L listen a little more. We discovered that the girl in the pictures that you've been sending, Danny, is somebody else. Natalie. What? And... Okay, so I'm sitting now, I'm really getting mad that you know that you got in contact with y'all. Like, really, like... That is what it sounds like when a grown-ass man catfishing as a woman gets caught up in a lie. You really can't tell me anything else. You can't tell me otherwise. I'm not convinced. If you're out here getting catfished and it took a voice to convince you this was a real woman, bro, it's probably like a 90% chance you haven't graduated high school. And if you did and you're still getting catfished like this, you probably shouldn't have graduated. I'm just trying to, to figure out if there's any way that we can meet up with you. You know that Danny cares about you, right? I mean, you guys have been talking for a while. Hi guys. We're meant to be together, sent at 10.53 p.m. I guess, are you fucking kidding me? And I assume that you must have some feelings for him as well, is that is that accurate? Yeah, okay. I think you know that meeting up with Danny is the right thing to do. I mean, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know. Are you in Florida? I'm in Connecticut. Okay. Bro, like you, like you didn't know? Alright, you know what, whatever. With all two watts of power doing clockwork in his brain, trying to make sure everything works correctly, I feel like he still thinks this is a lady on the other side. But do you really want to meet him? More importantly, do you really want to meet him? Um, yes, but, I mean... That's a bad woman. If you tell him the truth, and you're honest with him and i mean what there's like you know what okay lay girl i'm sure you must be pretty nervous i just yes. didn't know that he was thinking right there <laughs> oh, you had 24 hours get a grip no clue that was gonna happen whoa what in the world that's wacky <sighs> yeah i know i ruined it shut the fuck up as i understand jose has been rosa no. this is just crazy man what are you doing man you know i didn't mean for this to happen like this aren't you ashamed of yourself bro i am ashamed of myself hey i'm all for shaming somebody that's pretending to be someone they're not one facetime call would have destroyed this whole scenario quick quick as fuck Let's not shift the blame on him too hard all right it's not all his fault no you thought you were gonna get married to someone you never spoke to face to face how the f how is that even possible how do you even conceive that thought in your mind and then let it go out into the real world. How did that happen? No, I'm mean, never meant to hurt nobody else. I was trying to hurt the person in the picture. The girl in the picture? Why, do you know her? No. Uh, Madam. So what's the worst way to get back at somebody you don't like? Oh, I know. Pretend to be them and then realize that they can get the person you want better than you even can. Bro, what? Is this some sort of like pseudo cucking thing that i just don't understand i don't in what way is showing yourself that you can use a fake identity to get some fucking coochie or pp a way of getting back at somebody you don't like especially when you're using their face what like please who the fuck thinks this shit works the world isn't dystopian enough yet for catfishing to be a full-fledged method of getting what you want let's just be so real for a second so you know natalie i went to school in, in Florida. Florida. I was trying to get her to feel the pain that I felt. I used to be bullied at school, you know, by her and obviously a group of other people. Womp womp. Catfishing isn't the method for this. You should have fought the bitch. You made that account in high school. I was in high school. I was in high grade. And how old are you now? No, I'm 26 now. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. At what point in this are they going to start using, like, accurate time frames? No, like, that was a decade ago, give or take. 11 years ago the time you spent catfishing at this girl she has gone to high school 
maybe gone to college, either that or decided to become a stripper and made enough money to forget about you, her old boyfriend from high school, all of her friends that helped bully you. Dog, you've been doing this long enough for her to probably start hating her life now. Like, <laughs> call her up. See if she's a miserable piece of shit, dog. That would have been better closure than whatever this is. Whatever you have against this girl, bro, what does that have to do with me? You don't play with people like that. You don't you don't do that to people. I'm over here making plans. I'm like all the the fuck are you staring at, bro? He's he's not talking to me. He's talking to you. You can't just lock yourself in there and, and, and make believe you're a woman. If you like men, holler at a, at a, at a dude that likes men. It's as simple as that, man. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna go back inside, find some men to go hang out with, and use you as a profile this time. What you did was wrong, and I admit it. And um, I, I have nothing to say to you, man. This is an embarrassment, for real. I'm done here. This dude is sick, bro. You're a dumbass, but it's okay. Why? Because it was all in good fun. Midget catfished her height to me, but I still hit. Because at the end of the day, it was all in good fun. Anyway, everything happens for a reason, right? And we all have time to improve. Just like how he had time to improve. Let's see how they're doing later on. Good morning. How are you? I'm Danny. Nice to meet you, bro. There was nothing upstairs at this time. Bro was thinking we're straight dick and balls, I swear. So, you were Rose's voice. I used to do um, acting in high school. But that voice, like, I never tried it before. Can we hear the voice right now? I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, a lot of things been changing in my life. Yeah, you know what? Bro deserved to get catfish. I don't even give a fuck. Hey, 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 hey what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Are you dating anyone seriously right now? Nothing serious right now. You know, I've been uh, dating here and there. Fifty trillion dollars. It's all still online. I don't care. Talk to Jose. You know, a couple of weeks after the show, uh, I started actually texting him some positive stuff. I was like, you know what, man? Instead of kind of like avoiding him, this dude needs help. Let me do what I can. Hey, Danny, is there any chance that we could possibly hash it out? Maybe you could take me back. I don't know. I know this is unacceptable, but I'm sorry. Stop texting. Go find God. Come back after you found God. What about Natalie? <laughs> uh, you know, I never contacted her. You know, it's just, I've just been focusing on myself, man. So I'm not going to make fun of you, bro. If you just tell us that you got aired, it's fine. Something tells me the doggy holding a heart wasn't going to do it for her. You know what I mean? And that's fine. It's her loss, uh, but it might have been your win. Because I really feel like she could have cheated on you and you would have never known, but that's another conversation uh, hey how you doing wow, wow you look at, you're all cleaned up a nice haircut yes yeah. oh thank you thank you thank you you look good i mean well, you look like you lost some weight too yeah. all right listen i'm not gonna say anything about that comment he just made i just thought it was interesting that they decided to put a little mini montage of him doing a few exercises in here that's not convincing i don't know what is works out more than i do in fact every time i bend my knee these days i can feel the most excruciating pain in the world so i think i'm dying before he does i'm going to show you. really how's that been going when i go there you know i feel more peaceful i feel comfort i feel like that's where i belong that's nice have you made any friends through the church I have made a couple of friends. Um, I'm kind of talking to somebody right now. Wait, he's actually upgraded, but hold on. Are they online, though? When they look at you, do they think of a Latina named Rosa? Who, who are you kind of talking to? I'm not going to put his name out there or nothing like that. Someone you met on the internet? No, I did not meet on the internet. It was actually one of the customers that I met knocking on their door. Oh, and just like that, he's doing leagues better than Danny. What do I call that? I call that a redemption arc, a win. I say hit up Danny, add him to the call, and call him a goddamn loser right now. Danny was a great person, but Danny's somebody that I want to leave in the past. You know, right now, I'm very happy. You know, I'm closer to my family now. And it's just amazing waking up every morning and just knowing that you don't have to make no lies up for the day. You don't have to live a double life. Oh, two for two. Doesn't even want to think about Danny anymore. That's old news. What are you talking about? Who is that? All right, all right. Honestly, this is the craziest transition we've seen. Well probably not the craziest it's definitely not the one i was expecting regardless w for jose right or rosa at the end of the day everybody wins 
except for me because I'm still single. Regardless, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, do all that cool shit. Um. Suck a nigga dick. 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 Suck a nigga dick.